up YouTube? Before I start today's video guys, I just want to quickly say that I am currently suffering from the worst sore throat ever. So if my voice sounds a little bit off, I apologise. Now with that being said, this is going to be my movie review for Toy Story 4. Now I must say that when I heard they were making a Toy Story 4, I got defensive very, very quick. And that's purely because the Toy Story trilogy is so, so good and it ended, it ended perfectly. Now the story of Toy Story 4 is about Bonnie going to kindergarten for the first time. And on that day she makes a brand new toy out of trash and his name is Forky. And the movie is basically about protecting Forky because he means so much to Bonnie. On the subject of Forky, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I thought he was going to be really, really annoying because he he gave that kind of annoying vibe in the trailers. And I'm very pleased to say that he's not annoying. He's really, really good and he's really funny. Along with Forky, we get a bunch of new characters and they are all good. They're all good and that pleases me a lot because... They take up about 80% of screen time. My favourite new character is Duke Kaboom, voiced by the master, Keanu Reeves. Anytime he was on screen, he was stealing the show. He was so, so funny. Just like the other films, we get a brand new villain. And for the most part, it's pretty good. But the creepy thing are these ventriloquist dummies. They are just straight up spooky. And it's sort of... The movie kind of dips one toe in horror, believe it or not, and it's done very, very good. Now, with all those positives being said, I want to talk about the OG characters because, in my opinion, they were kind of butchered in this film. All the old school characters that we've grown to love and adore, they're hardly in the film. Honestly, they are hardly in the movie. I mean, characters like Jessie, she's probably got like a handful of scenes. It's... It's pretty upsetting, to be honest. However, Woody and Bo Peep, they are probably the main characters, along with Forky in this film. They have the most screen time. I'm going to keep it real with you guys. I didn't like Bo Peep. I won't spoil anything, don't worry. I just didn't like the direction that they took her character in. I, I don't know. It just didn't do it for me. And to be honest, it breaks my heart, but even Woody was sort of like 50-50 for me. Sometimes his like motivations are crystal clear, but then he'll do other things that are just, they're just kind of annoying. But the absolute worst thing is Buzz Lightyear. I just want to quickly say that Buzz Lightyear is my favourite Toy Story character of all time. He's been my favourite in all the films, and guess what? He was butchered in this movie. That's right, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. He hardly gets any screen time whatsoever. The best bit about Toy Story for me is when he's on screen with Woody and they're just just talking, man, and that doesn't happen much in this film at all. So with that lack of screen time and lack of dynamic with Woody, the absolute worst thing they've done is they kind of made him stupid again. You know like how he was in the first film? They kind of do that again, and it's, it was just so upsetting for me to see. Now, if I just push those negatives aside for a second, because i got to be fair and say the animating in this film is out of this world. Toy Story has never looked so good. I mean, there's a scene in the rain, right, and it's, it's gorgeous. It looks so, so good. It's unreal. Certain angles... You swear it's live action. It's crazy, man. So overall, guys, I really, really enjoyed the story. It's very, very, very emotional. Multiple times I was getting teary-eyed. But I also got upset about the lack of screen time for some of the original characters. However, it sort of balances out, I guess, because the new characters are all really, really good. And for those reasons, I'm going to give... Toy Story 4, 7 nerds out of 10. Now the question of the day is, what is your favourite Toy Story film of all time? Let me know in the comment section below. As always, thanks for watching guys, and remember, you will subscribe.